Greg Rosenthal, this is another NFL Network guy. All the, the latest cutting edge news, the latest news about the 49ers always comes from NFL Network. Always. And he says that Trey Lance is going to start week one if he looks more accurate than he was in college. He said things like, it's really not a con- it's really a issue of when Trey Lance is ready. And what's interesting is the official line of what ready is, is a little more accurate than he was in college. So if, if Trey Lance is out there airmailing people left and right in uh, – in camp, he's not going to win the job. But if he looks pretty refined, and uh, then that's that. That's what tri- that's what Greg Rosenthal is saying. Do you buy this? You don't have to buy this. Do you do you buy this? And um, do you think this is realistic? I guess. Waruna, you go first. Yeah. No. Here's the reason because these are like. Uh, things that you can argue in both ways, right? Okay. Because I can come out and say, okay, Trey Lance will start week one if he's ready, uh, if you do some changes with his mechanics. If he does not start, then I can say, okay, he was not ready. The, these were the problems that he had. So I always win because I'm not the bad guy because I said something. It, it's a 50-50 situation. So yeah. I would always win because this is what they are doing. If you remember, even after that 49ers drafted Trey Lance, I think it was Mike Lombardi or somebody. They said that 49ers still wanted uh, Mac Jones, but due to the fan pressure, they went ahead with Trey Lance. I mean, what kind of a news reporting is that? I mean, you have to, at a some point, you have to accept, okay, we were wrong. Yeah. Okay, we weren't top of our, our game. Because Kyle openly said it, we didn't say what we were what we wanted to do to anyone so unless otherwise you have some magical power you don't know what this organization is going to do so we can only speculate it and you have to accept that that's what journalism means is these guys are breaking the rules of journalists so i don't buy these stories like okay it is up to the organization i mean they should come up with some better stories we are doing better than this fair yeah, Greg Rosenthal probably doesn't have a direct line to Kyle Shanahan. What do you think, Chewie? I'm starting to to turn my my tide on this. I was of the belief that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be the week one starter, and he was hanging on to the job until he either hit a rough patch or he got injured. But I'm starting to change my tune a little bit, and I think I went back and I watched some tape of Trey Lance, and – I think he's going to be ready a lot sooner than people think. So I do believe that he's probably going to be the day one starter. And Jimmy Garoppolo will not be on the roster week one for the 49ers. Um, So I think he's going to get traded either in training camp or just outright cut. I just don't think he'll be on the roster. Now, a surprising thing with it is I don't think the offense is going to look a lot different with Trey Lance in, you know, playing versus Jimmy Garoppolo. A lot of what I saw him have success with at North Dakota State was not chucking bombs down the field. I mean, that's where he's been most inaccurate is down the field. So I think there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, Jimmy gimmies that go into the offense early on. They're going to protect him with the run game. And then Mm. um, he's going to be working the intermediate stuff to like George Kittle, stuff like that. I don't see him really transforming the offense early on besides maybe breaking some runs here or there. But I do think that, um, they are preparing him to be the week one starter, and I think he's going to be the week one starter. Yeah, I, I think, look, you know, looking based on the way that this report comes out, I think that Trey Lance is going to be the week one starter. You know, they're talking about him needing to be a little bit more accurate than he was in college. But he was he was fairly accurate when he was in college. He wasn't any less accurate than Jimmy Garoppolo. Really more accurate than Wentz was at the same school. Yeah, more, yeah, exactly that. And go ahead. Uh, so I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> point. No, yeah, and, and I was going to say, too, on top of that, I mean, when you when you watch the film, there's times when, when he's – some of his incompletions aren't even on him. They're, they're, they look like bad throws, but part of that's because the wide receivers are falling down and, yeah. and you know, tripping over their own feet and stuff like that. So I, I don't I don't foresee that being a problem for Trey Lance. I think he's going to come in. He's going to understand this offense a lot sooner than uh, pretty much anybody believes or, or thought at the time of the of the pick. And he's going to come in here and he's going to win this this job and he's going to be the guy that starts week one and uh, we'll see him throughout all of uh, 2021. Yeah, I think 
I kind of agree with a, a lot of what everyone else is saying, which is that I kind of already thought that it was more likely than not that Lance would be the starter, and I'm just buying that even more and more. But uh, the thing that stuck out to me about this specific report is he talks about the accuracy. And I think, for me, if, if Trey Lance figures out the intermediate passing game and he can be somewhat similar or at the same level of Jimmy Garoppolo as an intermediate passer, there isn't any reason he shouldn't be the week one starter. I, I think he will already be better than check downs at Jimmy. I was watching the first two games of the 49ers season in 2020, the, that, that Jets game and that Arizona game. The main thing that stuck out to me when watching Jimmy Garoppolo is how many check downs he just messed up whether it was throwing them too late, throwing them inaccurately, or, or not being able to, to dissect the defense in the right way. So when they say Trey Lance just has to be accurate and, and more accurate than he was in college and then he'll win the job, well, he should be more accurate because he hasn't played since 2019. He's had almost 24-plus months now in between playing if he is going to be playing week one. So I just think that... Everything seems to be pointing more and more towards Trey being the starter. And I think once we see him in preseason, to me, that's going to be really telling of where the team is going with this. And I think if he shows that he's better than Jimmy in that intermediate game specifically in those preseason games, I think Jimmy's days are numbered. Yeah, I mean, I just this report's like, if he looks decent, he's the starter. I, I feel like what we're seeing here is like when you take the – what we perceive as Kyle Shanahan's uh, desire to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. We see how hard he's been looking around. He's been on like the tinder of quarterbacks. He's flirted with every single one. So you, you take the fact how motivated Kyle Shanahan is to move on to the fact that he's already done this with a rookie quarterback before. He, he did this with RG3. And sure, RG3 had more experience in college, but he played in like an air raid spread offense that had none of the stuff that North Dakota State did, all the uh, under center pro style stuff. So I'm thinking Kyle Shanahan is motivated to move on and confident that he can win with a rookie because he's done it before. So I'm thinking that, yeah, he's going to win. He's going to start week one, and I'm going to win the bet with my dad. So I'm excited. Feeling good. Yeah, one Sorry. thing I want to add. Go ahead about this is like other even in the chat i saw that trey lance has to win the job i don't think it's a valid argument if it, it is a valid argument if trey lance was drafted like uh late second round third round then he has to prove himself point. but but when you spend, yes when you spend three first round picks to draft this quarterback and you think still he has to beat your whatever the quarterback that you have right now if you think that you should get fired yeah life doesn't work that way <laughs> yeah you should get fired like that david says do you think shanahan was truthful when he said he liked both lance and jones in the draft did he have a preference uh, of jones because he was considered nfl ready and he could be uh more easily replaced jimmy it's a possibility if we if we think that kyle shanahan is this motivated to move on maybe he would gravitate toward the nfl ready one but I think what he's learning is that Lance is NFL ready too, and I think he really made the right choice between the two. Fair? Fair. Absolutely. And I think the other thing too is it's clear Kyle liked Mac to a certain extent, but when you hear him talk about this issue in the podcast, he specifically mentions the 11 on 11 football thing. That's something that Mac Jones just can't beat out Trey Lance in. And I think that aspect is probably what enticed Kyle more than anything else to me. If you have a, if you want a dominant run game, I think you want to have that element. I mean, the Seahawks have it. Excuse me. Yeah, the Seahawks have it. The Saints have it. The pa the Patriots have it. Uh, now the Niners have it. The Ravens have it. And Kyle got a taste. Yeah, I think it was. Go ahead, Chuck. I think he was very truthful in that answer, especially when he said he was interested in Matt Jones and Trey Lance. But then once he did the film study and he just noticed, you know, Trey Lance jumped off the page to him. I think that put him over the top on Trey Lance over Mac Jones, but I do think there was interest early on for Mac Jones. Kyler Vee, oh, go ahead, sorry, Gary, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, I agree. I think that there was definitely some, some interest in both of them, you know, and, and I think what Kyle saw was what, what I continually missed during my film study was the ability, the things that, 
that Mac Jones could do was a lot of the same things that Jimmy Garoppolo could do. Of course, that some of those were better in terms of his accuracy and his throwing. But when you get into the running game portion of the game, that that's where he wasn't yeah. going to be able to do that with with uh, with Mac Jones. And that's not even necessarily, you know, that, that's just go back and you watch Jimmy Garoppolo try to try to scramble outside and, and make a throw on the move. You know, and you watch Mac Jones and Mac Jones was was just as bad as a Garoppolo outside the pocket in terms of the, his arm strength. Whereas you put you put Trey Lance in that same situation, you're going to see a guy that's going to be able to get to the edge and possibly scramble for a first down. Or even if he is having to throw on the move, he's got that a strong enough arm where he can really rip it down the field. And both both things that Garoppolo and, and Jones aren't able to do. Kyler V says, if Trey Lance is ready, we need to get rid of Jimmy ASAP. we got to take advantage of that rookie deal before Trey gets that Patty Mahomes deal, LOL. Yeah, I think Niner fans are starting to get it. Like, I'm sorry about the Jimmy. I know, I know you guys are invested in Jimmy. You like Jimmy. It's just that Kyle doesn't feel the same way that you do or used to. And it's time to at least accept that Jimmy Garoppolo is a placeholder now. So good good step, Kyler V. Tommy Huxley says Lance is not starting week one stop. Thank you, Tommy Huxley, for that brilliant insight.